and welcome back to Hannity's. We are broadcasting live from the ACL Theater, Moody Theater in Austin, Texas, earlier this week. Trump campaign surrogate A.J. Delgado wrote an op-ed for the Washington Post that was entitled, Why Latinos Should Vote for Trump. She joins us now along with Donald Trump. Good to see you, A.J. Thanks, John. Thanks. Uh, that's a great question. You know, some people say, well, Donald Trump, he wants to build a wall, and Donald Trump, he wants legal immigration, therefore, oh, the Hispanic community will not vote for Donald Trump. You say, not true. Absolutely not true. And as I wrote in the article, I don't support Donald Trump in spite of being Latina. I support you because I'm Latina. We don't have a lot of time, so explain that, though. That's important. It comes down to two issues. Illegal immigration hurts working-class Latinos, just like it hurts working-class African Americans. Two, only Mr. Trump is serious about jobs and the economy and has a plan to bring back the jobs we've lost, stop the outsourcing of jobs, and stop those trade deals that are killing these jobs. That's all we want. By the way, AJ gets so mad at me. You know, she graduated from Harvard Law School. And I... You get embarrassed. I'm like, you should own that. Does this. Right? We're proud of her. She's what, would, what would you say to Mr. Trump, now that you have this moment with him, mm -hmm. to help him with the Hispanic vote? Because the media narrative is he can't get that vote. He already has that vote. Yeah. And I, rather than telling you what you can do, I just want to say thank you because you speak about being a voice for the forgotten people. And it's an honor to support you, not only as an American, but as a Latina American. You've given us a voice. Thank you. Pretty amazing. Thank you. Wow. Look at this. Standing ovation. Not a Latino out there. <laughs> Mr. Trump. I think she hit on a very important point. Disproportionately, because of illegal immigration, 95 million Americans out of the labor force, the black and Hispanic community has been hurt the most. That's and not only are they competing for jobs, it's driving wages way down. 100%. 100%. And that's a big part of the equation. A lot of the people in this room, as an example, their wages are lower now than they were 18 years ago. Think of that. And they're working two jobs in many cases, largely in some cases due to Obamacare. And that should not be. We're getting older and we're working harder and we're making less. That can't be.